Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. The shape below consists of six congruent rectangles. If a single rectangle has a perimeter of 222, what is the perimeter of the shape? That is, what is the perimeter of the shape I've highlighted in blue? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. It at first seems like there is not enough information to solve this problem because the rectangles overlap in odd places. But in this video, I will present two ways you can solve this problem. The first is to overcount the perimeter and then subtract out the overlapping segments. The shape consists of six rectangles, so we could overcount as the perimeter of six rectangles. We then need to subtract out the overlapping segments. When two rectangles overlap, we have to subtract two times the length of the overlapping segment. This is because the segment will overlap for two different rectangles. For example, if we look at the top brick, we have one of its lengths being overlapping with another two rectangles. So to account for this overlapping region, we need to subtract out two lengths. In the bottom rectangle, we have another overlapping length, so we again subtract out two lengths. We have the same thing in the other bottom rectangle. In the middle three rectangles, we have an overlapping height. Since this overlaps for two rectangles, we subtract out two heights. We do the same for the other rectangle in the middle, and we do the same for the overlapping height at the bottom. In total, we need to subtract six lengths and six heights, which is equivalent to subtracting out the perimeter of three rectangles because each rectangle has a perimeter equal to two lengths and two heights. Ultimately, the shape's perimeter is equal to that of six rectangles minus three rectangles, which equals three rectangles. Thus, the perimeter is three times 222, which is 666. This is one way to get the answer. Now let me present another way. This involves rearranging the shape to create a new shape whose perimeter will be easier to solve but will be the same as the original shape. The key insight is if we slide a rectangle along an overlapping line, the perimeter will remain unchanged. For example, if I slide the top rectangle along the overlapping line, the perimeter will be unchanged. We can do the same thing for the bottom two rectangles. We have simply shifted the point at which they overlap. We have not made these bricks go off the edge. We've simply shifted their locations along the points at which they already overlapped. So we now have a new shape which has exactly the same perimeter as the beginning shape. The new shape is as wide as three rectangle lengths and it is as tall as three rectangle heights. So we can count this will have the perimeter of three rectangles. Alternately, we can see that the boundary consists of six different lengths. I'll count them one, two, three, four, five, and six. And it consists of six different heights. One, two, three, four, five, six. So again, this is equivalent to three rectangles. Therefore, the shape's perimeter is equal to the perimeter of three rectangles which is three times 222, which equals 666. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Tallwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.